everyone, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. This is a bittersweet uh, video. For a while now I have been wanting to kind of back off of YouTube and then the AuthorTube panel happened and I got like invigorated again and tried to put out Preptober videos and NaNoWriMo videos which are my favorite time of year for videos and I had a whole list of through May, videos through May that I could do and put out. But um, as time has passed, I've just not been feeling it. I haven't been doing great emotional-wise during this pregnancy. And um, I just have no time or motivation or I just want to nap. Or like my usual um, video space is being used. And so it's been really difficult even finding that time and place to do this. Um, two of my nano videos my kid was in like it's just it's been getting harder and I've lost motivation I want to produce those videos for you guys especially my tip ones that I had to like private um, because of the name change or whatever but a lot of it's on my website which I'm also not updating I haven't been sending out newsletters I haven't been much on social media like Instagram or any of that either and so um, I think I just need to take it as a sign to just back because this is my last video um, for a while if not forever um, I wanted to do my lovely 2021 wrap up in my 2022 goals just so y'all know what all happened this year and what's coming next year in case y'all care um, 2021 was a full of writing or attempts at writing <laughs> um, I started I think I did some tweaks on project Emma after some feedback um, I started querying hashtag goals, so I gave that book this whole year to query. I skipped like four months because I just forgot about it, honestly. <laughs> um, but there are a few folds out still and a few queries, and so I'm really hopeful on those, but I know that people take forever to read folds, so um, I put Project Emma into December Pit Mad. That was its first launch. Actually, I think I put it into DB Pit originally, but... Um, I'm going to start querying it in 2022. I had written a rev I revised uh, my The Summer of Risks uh, young adult book and put that into Pitch Wars. I got asked for materials from one mentor and then another mentor asked if I wanted feedback and I was like, hey, yes please. <laughs> um, and so she gave some query synopsis and first pages, uh, little edits and tweaks, very simple things to change and I was really grateful for that. I do still think there might be issues with pacing or whatever, so I'm going to be looking into a couple more readers for that um, before I try to query it. I would like to give Project Emma a chance, even though that has also gotten mixed reviews <laughs> on um, the likability of my pro tag, but if like that's the only thing, then like those books should be out there too. So um, hopefully that book is ready um, and I'm going to start with it. I don't know if I'll give it the full year and I honestly don't know if I'll keep up with it. Like right now I'm in such a mindset where I'm writing but I'm not really like pursuing publishing as hard as I should be. Um, like yes I'm querying but obviously like I slacked off for four months <laughs> and part of me is like why am I still trying? Why am I doing this? Because even once you get an agent, once you go on sub, once you get, you know, about to be published, it's just more and more and more, and I'm getting kind of like this about it. But I think that's also just because of my mind state right now. So, um, I'm going to keep pushing and just doing what I love because I don't think I could just stop writing altogether. So, um, I will be putting Project Emma out there next year, and we'll see if the Summer of Risks uh, is ready. I think it's more marketable. It has a better hook. Or pitch um, but Project Emma is the one that's ready and it is a slight Emma retelling I think it has a lot of fun tropes and so I'm hoping that that will engage an agent but um, as I said in my last Nano video uh, the adult book I just wrote which um, I was gonna tell you the title but I'm gonna keep that a secret um, I really hope I can revise it and finish it in time for author mentor match in January um, I'm due the middle of February though, so <laughs> I don't know. Last time when I had my baby, uh, it took me like two months to get back into writing or anything that needed a brain, and so, um, I don't know how good I'd be at AMM, but they don't have a deadline like pictures, so maybe it would work out. But that's my goal for that adult book, because I'd really love feedback on it. I'm very excited about it. 
um, young adult, it's been really hard to break into, and I know adult is like flooded with books now as well from debut authors, but I think it's a little bit easier to get into right now than young adult, and especially for contemporary romance. And so my list has been to read a bunch of contemporary romance adult books because I've been so like into young adult and I need to see like their beat pattern and their plots and arcs and all of that. Um, so I've been reading reading some like really good ones that I like um, and I also signed up for NetGalley this past year and I've been getting a lot of art copies. I hate that advanced reader copies <laughs> and I've been loving getting ahead on that um, sometimes it has been stressful but I've had too many books at once like especially from my library too but so far this year I had a goal of 35 books and I, I'm at 56 I think I will finish another two or three books in December so very close to 60 books this year which is pretty sweet and let's see where are all the books that I wrote so yeah the summer of risks I tried to revise my middle grade fantasy and I got to the third act. It had a lot of revisions to do because the story didn't make sense. <laughs> um, and so I redid it and I know it's supposed to happen but I just like totally lost my motivation and so then I switched to my adult book that I had a bit more motivation for and um, got a little past the halfway point. And, like I know where it's going as well but I just felt like I was forcing myself on both of these projects and so um, even, even when I got to, like, I had to, I don't know, even when I got to Nano, I was super unmotivated. Like, I, I was not in the mood to write. Nano's my favorite time of year. Like, I'm so stoked about those stories. Usually I've been thinking on them all, like, half a year. And, um, and so I went into it and I was excited. I did really good that first week and then it kind of just, like, tapered. Um, but I finished it so that was awesome. So I'm supposed to be like keeping track of my word count this year but that didn't happen. But um, you know I like edited and revised two books fully. Attempted two books <laughs> and then um, drafted a book. So I mean it's been a pretty, pretty busy writing year and then reading of course as you just saw. Um, I don't really know what else happened this year. I mean I was on that author 2 panel. I don't know. I've just felt really busy and unmotivated <laughs> most of the year. I also tried a bullet journal this year and made it like less than halfway through. So I think that's not for me, even though I did enjoy doodling and keeping track, like part journaling in it. But um, I just, I don't even look at my calendar. I just make post-it notes usually. So for 2022, I'm probably going to be reading lots of books again. Um, I am terrible at staying on social media, so I probably won't post that much on Instagram or Twitter except for pitch contests again. Um, I won't be making any YouTube videos that I can foresee. Um, I plan on entering <laughs> author mentor match maybe. But other than that, like I'll be getting reader feedback on a couple books probably and after baby comes. I doubt I'll be writing anything for a couple months and after that unless I just dabble like there's two stories I've started to write that are just fun and I have no plot for them at all <laughs> and I have no like of the fear want need I have none of that and it's sometimes freeing just to get a project started even if it's gonna go nowhere because that's just like in your brain or like maybe you have that nugget and you can return to it later and be like okay what story can I make out of this but oh I think next year I probably won't write again until like May and even then like maybe I'll start working on an adult book or maybe I'll finally go back to my middle grade, <laughs> my YA that I need to make middle grade. Um, I don't know. I'm just so, so in limbo right now. Um, I don't really know what I want anymore, <laughs> which kind of sucks. And I think like the years have taken its toll and I'm writing books faster than I can query. And so it would be really nice to get an agent so I could just be like, here are all these books. Please help me make them perfect and sell them. Like, I just, it's, it's been a struggle just being on my own. And I know that one of my critique partners feels that same way. Like, we're writing so much that we're growing fast. And by the time we're already querying an agent, 
we've had two or three other books and we've grown as a writer and it's like well should I even bother querying you with this book and so that's a lovely cycle that we're in right now but um yeah so baby's coming in 2022 oh, I pray COVID and all that crap is gone by the end by the mid or end of that year that would be fantastic and by gone I just mean like not as threatening we've been living pretty cautiously still and like bringing a new baby in the world is scary and yeah I would just like to not be in fear and I would like to be able to enjoy the world again and travel and visit family out of state but um I guess that'll just depend I don't know what else to update you guys on um I definitely need a mental health break and all the naps right now <laughs> oh yeah forgot something else <laughs> um I've started because of my mental health I've just been like binging uh the great British baking show and have uh, asked for a lot of baking things for Christmas because I want to get into that even though I cannot possibly eat the things that I make <laughs> um but that's something I'm looking forward to is baking and lots of reading and the new Pokemon game that's coming out in January for Switch I that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> I just need like uh, such a break. My DMs are still open on Twitter and Instagram and I have my email on my website and all of that. So if you do want to get a hold of me, that's how. Um, but yeah, I doubt I'll be posting much and um, hopefully this covered everything <laughs> that I wanted it to. Thank y'all so much for watching this and being a part of this journey. Um, I'll probably leave my channel up just to have a journal journey reference and um, for those videos that some of you guys are stumbling upon or need tips about. I may end up privating a few more or something as the time goes on but right now this is just going to be how it is. I hope that y'all have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Let me know any of your goals down below or what you accomplished in 2021 that you're most proud of. I hope that y'all are getting a break as well. I hope that y'all have been able to exercise or um, do whatever you need to feel healthy. I hope that you're able to write daily if you want, read daily if you want, or whatever is on your agenda to have a happy life. Thank y'all so much again for watching and keeping track of this channel and I uh, wish you all the best. I'll see you in the future on some platform. <laughs> Bye guys.